Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to use the Lawless Woke Up Like This Flawless Finish Foundation Makeup. Yes, all of that. So I did use this foundation several weeks ago. I actually have it in a, a darker color called Golden. Um, I had gotten kind of a tan over a weekend and needed a darker foundation. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and try that. And then I really liked it. So my tan went away and I couldn't use that foundation anymore. So I picked up a lighter version and it's called Kalahari. So this is um, Kalahari. It is a medium foundation that you can build up to full coverage. I actually use two pumps on my face and I didn't build it up. I just used the two pumps on a brush put on the rest of my makeup and it looks great starting out. So we're going to do an all day wear test and yeah, we're going to see how this baby performs. I did like it in the darker version. So now that my skin is back to being pasty and light, we're going to see how well this holds up on pasty and white skin. Yeah, that's it. So anyways, I love the smell of this foundation. My only complaint about it smelling kind of like an orange peel when you break into it is the smell goes away really quick. But the smell of it just smells, oh my gosh, the citrus is amazing. I absolutely love it. I just wish it smelled that way for a, a lot longer. But yeah, it's just, it's clean. It absolutely smells clean. So um, we're going to see how this baby holds up on my face all day long, and we're going to go from there. So let's see how okay, this rolls. so this morning we're going to do an all-day wear test using the Lawless Foundation. It comes in this handy-dandy, like, really cute box. Oh, boxes kill, kill me. So it's Clean AF. Hmm. Makeup is sexy. Makeup is transformative. Makeup is art, and now makeup is safe too. At Lawless, I'm committed to providing beauty products that are always free of ingredients that harm your skin, your health, the earth, and animals. I don't take the term natural lightly. We are clearly clean AF. None of our ingredients are known to be cancer causing or endocrine disrupting. Our flawless finished makeup is formulated for all types for, with medium to full buildable coverage and a fresh satin finish. AF is always free of the stuff that's bad for you. So I tested this foundation after I'd been in the sun for a weekend. And then the, by the time I wanted to do this video, by the time I wanted to do this video, my two day tan left. So we're going to start out with the makeup primer spray, oil control. And I did get this and this is Kalahari, this color. It's lighter, so we shall see if that works. If not, I still have the color golden to mix with it. And I love the scent of this foundation. So you're supposed to shake it. The scent is like citrus, which I kind of like. It's been a while since I've for this foundation. I can't remember if one pump or two works. But yeah, it has a, like the skin of an orange when you first break into it and you can smell the orange oil. It's kind of what this smells like. And I thought this color might be too light for me, but it looks like it's going to be spot on. Okay, so this went on really nice other than a few spots and it's not because of the foundation. It's because I didn't get it up high enough. I really like this coverage. It is so pretty. So it says it's a medium buildable and I, I don't know. I mean, normally I would say that I build it to full coverage, but I don't think I need it, which is exciting because again, when I had darker skin, and I was using the golden, I was like, ooh, this is really pretty. But now that my skin is back to being white and you can see the red through it, um, or my face is red, it really, I don't know, I really like this coverage from the get-go. 
Okay, that that's a nice, um, I really like this foundation when my skin had color, but I'm really liking it right now. And yes, I do have a cold, so bear with me. I feel like I sound like a dude. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish with some Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so for my regular mirror, it looks like it blended well. And on a closer view, I like how it looks. All right, so we're gonna add powder. I'm gonna keep going with the rest of my makeup and then um, I'll check in once the makeup is set and then we'll do an all day wear test. So I'm hoping that this works as well as it did when I had pretty skin or darker skin. I really like having a little color to my skin instead of so white, but we're going to see, which I gave you kind of a sneak peek already of what I thought with the darker color. So, okay, so it is end of a 10 hour work day and it's been hot. It has been swampy hot. I don't know if it got over 100 degrees today. <laughs> so it looks like um, it got to be about 95 degrees today. Although it feels definitely over 100. So let's see what this makeup's done after 10 hours, shall we? All right, so first of all, you can see I got my granny glasses on. Yeah, baby, yeah. We're getting up close and personal. All right, so now that we're all up close and personal, I'll take off my glasses. I will say that um, it does rub off on the glasses right there. And as far as the the foundation goes when I put my phone against my cheek it does come off on my phone so not real fun there right right all right so you can see a little bit of where my glasses were sitting that it kind of pulled away on both sides but check out overall okay other than my glasses look at this nose people look at this nose it held up with the exception of where the glasses were. Now, as far as my chin, it held up pretty good on my chin also. So you can see, again, my oils. And since we're up this close and personal, let's just go ahead and blot and see what the blotting papers do this close. Um, I will say that I did not blot all day. I did not, what else did I not do? I didn't touch up with powder. I didn't do any of that kind of stuff. So after 10 hours in a very hot environment, it's not surprising that I would have oil showing through. Especially for oily skin. I mean, this is just so, my skin is so nasty at the end of the day. And you would think that having this kind of oily skin, I'd have no wrinkles, but I do, see? Okay, so blotting paper overall, we're gonna scoot back out in just a second so you can kind of see how the blotting paper pulled up the oil pretty well. Overall, my nose is still attached and so is my chin. It lightened, using the blotting papers lightened it a little bit but not, not overwhelming. All right, so okay, we're, so we're back zoomed out. back out. Overall, and I hate showing how gross my skin is. Overall, I mean, it really didn't pull the foundation off. I mean, you can kind of see some of the discoloring, but I don't know if it's really the foundation or the powder I used this morning. So my skin, that is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting, but okay. So I pulled the oil off. Um, I am missing obviously where my glasses were. I'm missing a tip that like right up underneath here, but I have a cold. So considering that I've had to, you know, help my cold along hint, hint with tissue, the fact that it still held up other than right here is pretty dang good. 
and my chin held up really good. So, so yeah, overall, I mean, when you pull the oil off the skin, it looks really nice and matte and after a 10 hour work day i do really like this foundation so one of the things that i like is that it is a pretty foundation i don't like the fact that it, it goes on my phone um but again you saw how oily my skin is and the the oils pushing up of course that's part of it that gets on my phone but if you're able to blot during the day and pull off those oils during the day, I think it, it would look pretty good. Considering I didn't do that all day and it's the end of 10 hours, no one's going to be like really close in my face. They better not be. So in just a general conversation and being at a good length, just even me as far as my mirror, my mirror's right, right here. So just seeing how close I am to my mirror I'm pretty impressed with how it looks after 10 hours and blotting. I like that it still sits on the face overall. All right, so if you've used this foundation, I'd really be curious as to what you thought. Um, whether you're dry skin, combo, oily, etc. I'm really, really curious. I do, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this foundation. I wonder if they have other products. I'm going to have to check that out. So anyways, if you have any tips, tricks, or thoughts, please put those below. And I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon.